universe is circular, infinitely folding in upon itself. I am made of its energy. Hello, programs. I am currently in the world of transpose. As you can see, I am from the land of Oz. I am from the Emerald City of Oz. I am a robot that is now living in the future. My arms are made of crystalline, and it looks dope. I really like the inverse kinematics. It's quite good. It is quite robust. And I feel like these arms are like super, super skinny. Okay, so let's see, we need to teleport. I feel like these arms are like super skinny, but I think it's better skinny than super fat. Super big giant arms just seem so unrealistic where skinnier ones, I feel like, I feel like these inverse kinematics are really good, really quite good. And look at this weird ass world that I'm inside of, by the way. I mean, stop for a moment, pause and say, wow. Look at this construction, like look at this design, like this is pretty spectacular in terms of like looking really trippy. This is a very trippy world. So here I am, in a world that is very Tron-esh, Tron-esque. I, Robot. Oh no, they're gonna kill me! Transpose. You can transcend time and space. This is the world of Transpose. The world was once alive, and it will be alive again. What is up, folks? I am in Transpose. This, of course, is a VR game that was developed by Secret Location Developers of Blasters of the Universe. This is the world of Transpose, and I believe it is one of the more interesting visual designs that I've seen for a world in VR. This is the trippy kind of shit. This is why we have VR. We have VR to see weird ass worlds like this. Like this is what it's all about, right? Like we are trying to, you know, this is like the singularity, man. We're trying to break through to the other side. We want to live in the robot world. And these are the kind of worlds that make you feel like you're in a robot world. It's a beautiful, incredible, awesome world. Now, unfortunately, it's a puzzle game. <laughs> and I wish this was much more of an adventure. I wish I was meeting people, talking to them, um, having like serious adventures. Look at these digital, digital dudes that are just kind of chilling. Really quite definitely a sci-fi feel to this game that is hard to put your finger on. I call this game a Tron-like, and I, I believe that is a new phrase that should live on forever. Tron-likes. Games that are basically, they got a little bit of Tron up in them, either musically or the visuals or, you know, something about it is evoking of Tron. And I feel like this game is a little bit Tron-ish in certain respects. Look, I, I love this, you know, look at this environment, y'all. I mean, look at the graphics, appreciate, appreciate great design when it's dropped right in your lap. Because this is great design that has been dropped right into our laps. Uh, a magical world. Again, I wish I could talk to characters. I wish I could be on more of an adventure than doing a puzzle game, but man, do I appreciate, look at this. So that's probably like future levels. You know, those are future levels over there, I'm guessing. 
and uh, just just beautiful, just incredible. Transposed by secret location. I know I have been here before. Alrighty, so here we are. Look at how cool this thing is. You can move like so. Okay, snap turning works well. This is how you snap turn. Lesson to Sirius Sam. I wish Sirius Sam snap turned like this. This is a proper snap turn. It's just bang, bang, bang. That's the way a snap turn should be. Okay, I am traveling across a magical bridge. Once again, let's talk about set design. Let's talk about what Secret Location is doing here. This is a pretty incredible scene. In fact, this is not unlike like a Star Wars universe right here. I feel like I'm inside some kind of futuristic Death Star or something. Like, this is a cool world that they've designed here to be sure okay so i believe this is the first of these various stages so let's go ahead and try this one out my past lives surround me walk okay so we start off super simple super easy and right here, I'm basically watching something play itself out. So that's a past version of myself that is grabbing something. It's moving along and it's dropping it into the container. So that's about as simple and basic as you're going to get. So I'm going to try to do the same exact thing. I'm going to go ahead and grab this and I'm going to drop this in said container and then what that does is that opens this up like this and i can already exit now sometimes it's, you're going to have to do more than that to be able to exit and so we can watch these past versions of ourselves exiting here completed hearts feed power back to the world Alrighty, so that just opened up this bridge, which unlocked this door. So we continue to move along. Your echoes will always play out their actions regardless of how the environment changes. Time is a tool. Return. Okay, so this is where it starts to get just a little bit more complicated. Now, you see how that is a red robot guy over there. I have to get over to that guy and I have to grab his echo out of him. Um, I believe that's basically what I got to do right now. So it's pretty easy. I'm just going to teleport over here. Um, and then I just, you just go behind him and you grab his echo or you just pull it right out of his chest, basically. It's pretty much Apocalypto. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab, let's see, remove. Okay, here we go. Rings on your right arm represent each echo collected. All right, so I have, I have a ring. I have one ring on my right arm. Breakers will move parts of the environment. Okay, let's try activating this. And that obviously opened. Press and hold wire B to pause time. Okay, so discard keep. I'm gonna go ahead and keep what happens now. Step off the origin to begin a new timeline. Move the slider on your left arm to fast forward time. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so there's that's me, basically. So I'm going to move me along faster, looking around, tripping on shit. Okay, then... I unlock that. Now, can I just grab this and complete this now? Let's see. There we go, I lit one side of it. So, looks like I gotta, I gotta activate this other side though. Now these guys are leaving. These guys are leaving. Oh no, no, that's it. There's only one. Yeah, so it's done. This level's done. So that unlocked this bridge right here and opened up this other level right here. And it starts off pretty easily, you know? It, it doesn't get very hard in the beginning. My past and future work together. Catch. Alrighty, so I can see this is a red, a red one over here. There's a red one over there. So I'm going to activate, I'm going to have to do basically two different things here. So I need to go over to this guy. I'm going to go ahead and snatch this, which is going to put another ring on my hand. Each past echo collected increases your total available echoes. Okay, so that guy, rings on your right arm represent available echoes. So this guy basically takes this cube here and he tosses it right there. Now, let's see, I can go keep. And then if I go back over here, this is gonna be me throwing it to me, right? Ah. Is that me? No. Oh, wait, no. I got to speed myself up. That's me. I'm the green guy. Okay, go ahead, green bro. There you go. There you go. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you went too fast. But I can just pick it up and do it like that. So we have now connected one part of the portal. Um, but we've got to do the other side. We got to do this side. Each past echo collected increases your total available echoes. Yeah, we've already heard that. So it's a combination of, of smooth locomotion and teleporting. So I basically just toss this back there. Oops, need to do a better toss than that though. Uh, that's pretty far, but that'll work. And then I can go ahead and keep that. And then so I can be here and then I got to speed myself along. I got to run it through all of that stuff too. Okay. Keep going, keep going, do your thing, do your thing. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, now go over to the other side. There you go, there you go. Keep going, bro. Keep trucking. Okay, let's wait, slow you down. Okay, that's where I screwed up. And then I threw it much further, more like out to where I am right now. Boom, yeah, that was nice. I pressed the right button and actually caught it. So, pop that in there and there we go. So that opens up the actual gate. All of the past me's return back through here, right? Or something, I don't know, or maybe I just do it. All right, let's move on. If you are unhappy with an Echo's actions, you can pull out blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I just unlocked this bridge right here. 
I've unlocked this level right here, so let's continue to move forward. Luke, I am your father. Luke, join me on the dark side. I am your father. I do feel like this is kind of like, you know, the, Darst, the Death Star level. Echo recording doesn't start until you step off the origin. My past and future exist together. Now, is this brave? Brave? I guess it says brave. Okay, so this is the level that um, I've had a little bit more trouble with. But now that we're starting this over from scratch, I'll probably do better. So I got to get up there and I got to throw the ball over to that guy. Okay, so that's first order of business. Alrighty. So this is a moving platform right here. And, but I got to get up there. I got to get that guy's echo, get over there, do that activity, and then figure this whole thing out. So I'm going to head this way for now. The music is very chill. The music kind of sits there in the background. It is not an obvious kind of a music. It's more of a slow burn, experiential kind of a music. You know? It's more chill. It's more smooth jazz. It's more relaxed. All right, so I got to take this dude's echo. I will remove thine echo. So I got that guy's echo. So now I got to get over there. And whoops, where did I go? What happened? Oh, man. I don't know what happened there, but let me get back up. I'll get back up. Okay, I probably should use smooth locomotion more often than not. Teleport when I need to teleport. Okay, so if I activate this moving platform right here, it's going to take off. I'm going to have to quickly teleport back onto it. There we go. As the music continues to play out very nicely. Look at how cool this is. Like, this is a smooth-ass world that Secret Location developed. Say what you will. Not one of our 25 best VR games of 2018. I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't make it. But, you know, it was one of those borderline calls. Okay, so I'm going to toss this down to basically my future or past self, whoever the hell that is. And it was kind of a short toss. I'm, I think I'm going to redo that if I can, if I may. Let me redo that throw. I want a better throw. Go ahead, bro. You want to do it? All right. Ah, oh, man. Way too short on my throw here. Come on. How about this one? That's too short, too. I just got to put, put a little more into it. I am not doing a very good job with these throws. All right. There. That one's farther. That'll work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay, I start back over here. Now, let's see. So I need to be on this platform. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to slide time forward. And it's going to move me over here. I'm gonna hurry up, this guy's just bullshitting. This, this part right here reminds me of AI, artificial intelligence, the very end of AI. You guys remember that movie, the Steven Spielberg one? Like straight up, this is like how the aliens would move around. They moved around like this, like this robot dude is moving around. Okay, so here I go, boom, like look at how smooth that is. Now I get to catch my throw, and my throw is actually pretty deep over here. But I, I do a couple of bad throws first. So that's one of my bad throws, I believe, right here. That's a bad throw. I think I do like two bad throws. Maybe three bad throws, actually. There's another bad one. Okay, I think, yeah, okay, now this I think is the good one. Got 
gotcha. Yeah, buddy. So that opens it up and I can now exit stage left. So I guess I go onto this moving platform here. Can I teleport over there? No. Okay, so what I gotta do here is do time. Or no, do I just keep it? I keep it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that. That takes me back here and I can just bounce, right? And here is a new bridge that is developing. It is opening a new gate. And this beautiful world of Transpose. Probably one of the better puzzle games that you can grab for 20 bucks with cool music, cool visuals, a little bit on the kickback side. Definitely a little bit on the kickback side. So I know there's gonna be some people, this is gonna be too slow and too mellow probably for some people. My past can be undone. Slide. Okay, here we are. We are in slide. And check this out. I've got a confession to make. I've got a straight up confession to make. I've never been in this level. I don't think. I don't think I've ever been in this level. So... I did play some of those earlier levels a while back and I kind of forgot how to play this game. Okay, so right here we do have two depository spots, which means we've got to bring two balls back here sooner or later. I've got a moving platform over there. There's a ball over there. And up over here, there's a ball as well and another moving platform. All right, so we got to find a way to get to where we need to go. Okay, so here's a past version of ourself. So, okay, there we go. We go get that echo up there, and let's move on down the line here. So I do have a fear of heights in real life, and if I really felt like I was on an edge right here, I'd be kind of freaking out, but I don't... Um, this game I'm not really getting a fear of heights feeling triggered whatsoever it's been a long time since I mean every once in a while I'll get a little bit of it okay so I'm gonna remove my past echo which is gonna put another band on my arm and so here we have two two areas here where we're allowed to move these platforms so I'm gonna go ahead and move this one first Ah, see, that lowers that down. Now, do I have to move this one to actually make it move? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Let me go down there and see what I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and head down here, head back down there either rewind probably have to rewind time right so I'm gonna go over onto this platform here and let's see what happens when I rewind time That's not doing anything. Okay, so let's see, I'm up here. Oh, I see, I need to move this thing, move this crystal. Ah, there we go, that moves me to the other side. 
All right, so we will now head back. And I'm going to have to... Um, see, I'm going to have to rewind time, though, right? Or wait, I'm going to have to say... Let's see, keep. Okay, then I go over here. And then I fast forward myself. <laughs> it's like me talking about, yeah, this is such a cool world, man. It's such a cool world. This secret location created, yeah. It's so cool. Check this out. I keep putting my hand up. Hey, go. Do your thing, bro. Man, this is going to be a long, a long thing that I have to play through because I didn't know what I was doing. Because I unlocked both of those things. I came back down here. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't realize that there was that crystal right there that I needed to move. I came back down over here and I thought, huh. Um, I tried to fast forward time. I tried to slow time. And I'm looking around and I'm like, gee, why is this not working? Hey, you are my past. Yeah, you. You green crystal man, you. God damn it. You really came from the Wizard of Oz, didn't you? This fool is from the Emerald City like a mofo. Like, tell me he isn't made out of green crystals that look dope. Okay, so I'm moving him along now. Pretty soon he's going to get up there and see now he's going to realize what the hell he's doing. And I am going to move over there. He's going to realize, hey, gee, yeah, there's a crystal, ding, dingleberry. So now we have moved over to this new locale. And I can go ahead and grab this. And I guess I could just toss it over to my future self over there, right? I mean, I can go back over here and I can just toss it. Oops. <laughs> We've got to toss it better than that. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to toss this to my future self. That's a pretty good toss. I can live with that toss. We are going to keep that. Then I'm going to go right here. And I will fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, keep on trucking, keep on trucking. I'm watching my green emerald man right here. See, two green emerald men. I don't want to step onto this platform though because, yeah, look at these green emerald spider men. Okay, so he's gonna, is this where I figure shit out? Nope. <laughs> nope. This isn't where I figure shit out. I'm coming back down. I'm coming back down. Yep. This is where I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Then I go over there. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Here's my other homie. Look at this. I got two green dudes that don't know what the fuck. <laughs> and then, oh, look at, there I am looking at myself, like getting right up in my face saying, bro, look at you. You're straight up from Emerald City. You really are from Emerald City. And these dudes are straight up from Emerald City. Okay, hurry up. Let's get back up there. Let's move the crystal. It's about freaking time. Okay, here we go. So this guy's going to throw... Um, his first throw is not going to be on point. So this is his first throw. Not on point. A little bit short. Okay, his next throw is going to come like right here though. Uh, I wish this other guy would get out of my way. That red dude. Boom. See? Catch it on the fly. And look at the graphical stylings of this cube. It is not that shabby. It's pretty good actually. And so we go ahead and deposit it into the chamber which creates a gigantic burst of energy to the Typhon star which opens up the auxiliator to the left. Okay so that was one magical thing there but we got to do another magical thing over here. Um, so let's see, can I move time to get over there? I think I have, yeah, I think I have to fast forward through the whole entire thing again, right? Or wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Do I do a keep it now? Let me see. I think I do a keep. 
Okay, so we do a keep, everything's good. We step off over here. Now, we wanna fast forward. Oops, we wanna fast forward. We can look at some other versions of ourselves. Look at, here's an emerald guy. Look at how awesome the, look at three emerald dudes over here at certain points. Three emerald dudes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just fell off the edge. Okay. Um, should I disregard that one? Let me see. So I'm going to go back here. Okay, look at three emerald dudes. Look at these guys. But I need to fast forward them. We got to hurry this show along. Because I need to get that. I need to get that platform to come over and get me again. So... That's our mission right now, is get this platform over here. That's the first, first order of business. I can't do anything until that platform is over here. But it's going to take a while, because remember, he comes back down. So in the meanwhile, I can look at, I can look at, um, at these green, these green goblins. These guys are like Spider-Man guys. Like, look at these guys. Look at Spider-Man guy one, Spider-Man guy two, Spider-Man guy three, but they do look like they are from Wizard of Oz, Emerald City, a future version of, there should be a brand new version of Wizard of Oz that is really sweet, like how cool would a brand new Wizard of Oz be? But I feel like I'm from the Emerald City here and I'm with four of my favorite friends. I love you guys, I love you guys. Because you guys are me. You guys are a confused me from an earlier time. Okay, I should probably speed these guys along. Okay, speed along. Speed along. One of you needs to head back up there and move the crystal. So which one of you is going to do the job? There you go. Okay, as you do that, I'm going to head back over here. Because i got to catch my ride when it's ready here. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to speed you along. Come on, hurry on up. Move the crystal. There you go. Okay, he moved the crystal. So now, okay, so now I can be over here, but let's see, what do I do now? So do I go like this? Can I move this back? Does, let's see, how does this work? No, that's me putting it in there. Okay, oh, maybe like that and then say, um, keep no that's not gonna work is it damn it okay now I'm gonna speed all these dudes up I've got like four dudes it's really kind of out of control okay I'm kind of confused now so I'm sending this guy bottom line is I know I need to get on that shuttle and I know I need to get that cube I did something wrong. Yeah, so now I'm gonna have four, four emerald crystal dudes all standing together. Look at that. Four dumbasses that don't know what they're doing. Um, talking to each other, being like, oh, look at this emerald crystal guy. Yeah, wow, he looks like Spider-Man. This is funny. Like, you can really see, like, okay, let me watch all my past failures repeatedly over and over and over again. Okay, so I send this guy back up here. I get onto this platform here. He's going to move it. I get onto this platform here. Okay, um, now, so what am I supposed to do now? Like, let me think here. Because I need the crystal somehow moved again. How do I move the crystal again? Hmm. If I do this, can I rewind? Let me try to rewind. Is this going to rewind it? Okay, those are my four echoes, but let me see. So can I stand over here 
can I rewind? Am I po- uh, can I rewind? Or these guys are all stuck. These guys are stuck. Man, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this a let's play because I'm going to spend too much time trying to figure out what to do at this point. But yeah, this is Transpose. This is an early look at Transpose. And, you know, I'm from the Emerald Crystal Land, but these are red crystallized dudes red crystallized dudes this is such a cool world i do like this world i do like this vibe i mean it does have a little bit of ai artificial intelligence steven spielberg um does have a little bit at the very end of that movie the way the aliens were moving around very similar to this it does have this tron kind of vibe to it the music is very chill incredibly chill music and it's just got a cool environment you know it's a cool environment it's a cool place to be i really like this so yeah this is transpose and that will do it for this particular episode of the vr 365 let's play series i will see you guys next time take it easy later